in with my orientation in the chat box where I'm writing hi to you guys. If you can just confirm my voice is loud and clear. And also you guys can see my screen. I've just now said hi to you guys in the chat box. If someone can acknowledge this would be nice. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so let me quickly create the agenda for today's class. Guys, we're going to talk about content writing industry overview. At the same time, the opportunities with content writing that why all of a sudden content writing, all of such types of words have started emerging in the market. I'll put some light on at least two sources of income, which as a student, one can generate if you learn or whether you learn it from us or anywhere, that's the second thing. But how many sources of income one can generate if they do content writing. So we'll put some light on that. And we'll also talk about it. Then I'll also create the long term plan with content industry. Because one bit which we have realized people really develop in their mindset is that if I will do a short program, I'm going to get a job immediately or I'm going to become a pro. So I'll put some light on that subject too, that how much time it will take for you to become a pro, how much time it will take for you to become someone in this industry. All such things we will go ahead and talk about. And then I'll give you an overview of what IM Skills Training Program is. Why is that we are the most respected one? And what do you get if you learn content writing with IM Skills? And then in the end, we will keep an open Q&A session so that if in case you guys have any questions, doubts, or anything related to your career, related to content as an industry, or any prospect around it, you are welcome to go ahead and ask these questions in the chat box. Great. So let's begin. Now, guys, if I talk about it, that if you have observed that during the lockdown phase, one of the things which were really, you know, uh, uh, as, a, as a stuff was content. And why is that? Because one impact on this industry, which is a sudden impact we are actually observing, it's because number of websites which are going live today at the web, you know, at the web or at the internet or at search engines are really increasing. Now, if you look at internet live starts, in every one second, you will see 10 websites are going live, right? Let's retry this data. Now, these are the number of sites which you guys can see right now, which are going live every second, okay? This is according to the internet live starts. Now, what happens is the more number of websites that these sites will grow, people would need a content writer to write contents, newsletters, social media posts, articles, all such things for their businesses, right? Because without a content, a website is just a color or a picture. With me on this, now everybody, given this is actually increasing, that's one of the reasons that if you need to check content writing jobs right now in the market, one of the reasons the content writing jobs are increasing because this sudden increase in the number of website or establishment of new businesses towards an online space. Even if you check the current look at, I mean, the number, the current openings which are available towards content as the market, let me just take it towards entire India, not just Delhi NCR. So we'll be able to see the number of websites which are, you know, or the number of openings which are there, almost around 25,000 plus openings are there right now. With the average, you know, pay scale between, you know, per month, if you calculate between 15,000 to 25,000, right? That is what content writing work from home, all such things are there at portals like job, you know, uh, nokri.com. Given we are one of the program which are listed at, uh, you know, nokri.com, we understand this better that the type of content writing skills, I mean, our course is even listed at nokri.com as a preferred course if someone wants to become a content writer. Now, one of the things which we actually calculate is that people expect one should have multiple skills, not just you have a skill of writing. There are a lot more. We will talk about it right in this orientation class. But I really want to create that with everyone that given you are planning to learn content writing, whether you can learn from anywhere, that's a second thing. But I think from the choice point of view, you are in the right direction. There is no doubt around it. And the top recruiters are really good players. Times of India, Economics, Time, no free. These are just big names. There are startups. There are mid-sized organizations. Those who expect, those who look forward that, okay, we need a content writer because they are nothing without a content developer within their team. So now let's go ahead and understand this as an industry. All right. So now let me go ahead and create for you guys. What all opportunities do you have if you learn content writing? Now, if we broadly look at as a people, we have an objective in mind, right? We are either here to go ahead and get our jobs. We are here to set up something online, work from home. 
oh, we are here to set up something as an existing business wherein we are looking forward to transit it from traditional to digital, right? So one of this as an objective we all have, I would like to understand my audience right now that what exactly you have in mind, Jinju, Karthik, Kanvata, Nandita, Priya, Priyanka, and everyone else, Sai Shri, Sentry, what would you like to achieve? What do you have in mind, Shivam, Siddharth, Subhashis, Trinayan, Trinayana, I'm sorry. What would you like to achieve through content writing? If you can put that in the chat box so that I can go ahead and guide you guys that how you can go ahead and achieve that. What are the things you require when you're learning it? What are the steps you have to go ahead and take forward so that you can achieve those objectives in a short time span? That can be a three months journey, two months journey, or depending upon <clears throat> the hard work you're going to invest, time investment and everything. So we have Karthik, he's expecting freelancing, including Priyanka. Then we have Nandita for, for a full-time job, wonderful. What about others in the chat box? For Priya, it is again freelancing. For Sentry, it is freelancing. Chintu is again for full-time job, wonderful. Priyanka, skills, freelancing, okay. Then I have Sanshri, freelance, okay. Big percentage of audience is here to get freelance. Siddharth for freelance, okay. Aditi says full-time, good. Sharad is here for getting a job, great. Subhashi is freelance, great. We have three Nayana and we'll be here to get a job. I'll answer these take, you know, questions. Any job assurance, there is no assurance, only assistance. I'll put some light on that, just be with me. Uh, I have Shivam, he's a tech student, left my job, wanted to pursue content writing as a career, great. Would like to go get or go for a full-time job and freelancing too. Great, hey, Shivam, welcome. I like to write, so want to set up freelancing, let me interact with different industries and write more. Great, Namrata. I got it. No. Three, nine, nine. We will answer this thing in the end. How you obtain practical experience? Vital, these are the Q&A, we will do it in the end. Let me complete my one, okay? Okay, kindly help uh, Shiva to three, nine. Okay, guys, pay attention. Now, if you look at broadly, from the point of, of freelancing, I'm going to put some light that what exactly is required and how you can go ahead and achieve that with some live examples so that you can relate, okay? How things works in the content writing industry. Now, if you look at as a content writer, a writer is the one who writes various types of writing skills. For example, in our training program, as a writer, you will develop around 25 different types of writing, right? If you pay attention, you will learn about how to write an article, blogs, eBooks, commercial pages, how to write an ad copy, business listing. Ads copy stands for, you know, a copywriting tool. Academics, institutional products, press releases, e-listing, product description, web pages, mailers, brochures, instructionals, all such things, social media posts. These are all types of content writing services which you will have as a skill set in your hand. And with any brand, you can go ahead and work without a problem. Okay, now, it depends. It depends that which type of a business would require what type of a service. Let's pay attention towards it. So let's say I'm here to go ahead and get a job in content writing industry. Now, based on my company, based on my business or based on their business, uh, you know, the objectives they're expecting to fulfill from a writer's profile, I have to write those stuff. So let's say if I'll join a school, I may be required to write academic writing or I may go ahead and do some proofreading. I may also go ahead and write some white papers, all such types of things, depending upon requirement of those tools and all those things, right? Then let's say I'm, if I'm joining an institute like Amazon, right? Now, Amazon have a final objective that as a writer, you create product descriptions, right? But let's say there is a new product, which is iPhone 12. They have recently launched it. So I'll search for iPhone 11 for now. This first part, which you can see, it's an advertisement, all right? But if, if Amazon is there, this second ranking at search engine, now this description or this landing page, the page where you land is known as landing page. Now this landing page and product description which you have created, what's the final objective for Amazon that people appear here and finally they add to the card and buy the product with me? Why is that so? Because the final objective for this brand is to sell online with me. Now for a business like Amazon, if you're creating e-listing or product description, 
you should have multiple skill set in hand however a brand is expecting what if you have to recall that okay i am a good content creator i am a bad one or i am a good copywriter or a bad one depending upon number of sites you have created and the number of products pages which are appearing in front of people versus number of sales happening that means online sales is what they expect so the more number of online sales which will help you know which will actually happen on this world that that actually creates that you're a great writer or not why i'm saying this because people don't go and they don't check rest of these pages which are at page number 2 3 4 5 6 and infinity everyone able to relate until here if it is a company like amazon their objective is completely online sales with me now the next thing after this is we have another company let's say we have iron skills institute so we don't expect that if our writers are writing content we expect they research for various keywords which are relevant on the subjects which we are teaching let's say cat coachings digital marketing trainings social media trainings content writing training so when someone search for the related keywords around it let's say how good is a career about content writing if there is a search volume around it then we will expect our writers to go ahead create a informational content and then people can read then finally we can invite them to what attend an online class right so what do we capture from the writers point of view we capture leads are you with me at this moment you all are leads to us or prospects correct so for us as a writer point of view if you look at a writer is someone who will help us to create content drive engagement and help people to attend an online orientation class towards various subjects which we teach everybody so it's known as lead generation all right now the third thing is called brand building now people don't expect anything out of it they just want to come or appear in front of you when you search or when you are interested for such types of products i have a question to ask from you know to everyone if you are active at medium.com if you are a good reader or if you are active at sites like cora.com right these sites when you develop your account or design your new id they ask you area of interest and then you say that i am interested in politics let's say or news right or you actually declare that then you might have observed during the election days let's say a city based election is happening i mean state based or a country wise election is happening let's say there is a prime minister face for your country or chief minister face for your state you will see a very good engagement or a very good creative content around a political face there are so many upvotes there are so many reshares comments on that article have you ever observed such types of things at cora medium now that's called that developing a brand because there are people who have already declared to cora that i am interested to read about news or politics and this is a complete content around it which is a political face of any you know any party or something what are you doing in that case in this case you are actually creating a content to create a brand right now depending upon various objectives you as a writer is going to write these types of content okay now from a job point of view you are required to have all the skills you may only join an agency which are actually into press releases and you will only write throughout your life press release you may not need to write long lengthy articles but getting the skills are really important for every type of a writer there are so many types of writing as listed out here in our training program which we teach you must be aware about it your execution depends on the basis of those organizations right now a question that appears to someone's mind that is will i get a job if i learn a training program now we are only talking about job at the moment yes you will be getting a job but how that is very important see writing is more like you're going to a gym right who hire a gym instructor okay what type of a gym instructors get most of the uh, you know coaching or personal coaching assignments from those people who actually go to gym every day the one who actually keeps their body very fit correct and that's visible in front of me let's say i have a friend here let's say shivam shivam gupta he's live with us right now shivam is my gym coach why will i hire him because he actually maintained himself like that i can get influence for him that all right this guy is great right or it's similar like that who will hire a good content writer and pay you those decent amount of salaries the one 
who will see that you have already worked at some website. That means you have a portfolio and the content which you've created from all the point of view, a press release, an academic writing, articles, blogs, your accounts at Quora, Medium, all such types of things you have in hand and then you're working, you're an active writer so that people can see that as your real resume instead of that paperwork, A4 size sheet. Now, once you have that, you're actually going to get a job because people can read and people can also track each and everything in this digital world. That how much and what kind of an engagement you create, how many people read when you wrote this and what impact you've created with this content copy. Now, when I say content copy, it is a broad term. There are so many types of things. I'm not naming just an article or a blog. I'm saying any type of a content which you have created that's how it works. So whether you learn this training from anywhere, keep your focus only at one thing. If you're aiming to get a job, the focus has to be very clear. Instead of just learning it theoretically, you should work upon everything practically. That's one of the reasons that why we'll design our course 100% practical, that you have so many articles while you're in this training program written by you. You have done every type of assignments hands-on and it is live at your own blog or your own website, which you will create. And you have a real concrete thing in hand once you will complete the entire program so that you're job ready. And that should that is what can go ahead and get you the job. You'll practice every channel of writing. Everyone, are you clear about it? Can I get a quick yes that I can move to the next topic and those who are writing questions in the chat box, I'm going to answer every question but in the end, all right? Great, thank you so much guys. Now the next move from here, which I've got, a lot of you have said, See, my objective right now, there are two objectives and I will remain honest. You have to accept the fact. One, this orientation I am hosting because I'm, I would like to give you the best information about content writing industry, that how everything works. That is point one. And my second objective is I'll be honest and blunt to sell you guys, okay? But I'll not push on the second part. Why? Because I'll give you the best information. If you will find it meaningful, you will definitely buy it. So I will not talk about my course but you have to be really focused on what I'm saying right now. So here we go about the freelancers. And I personally feel this word freelancing, how you have adapted. This is all internet research. There is no friend in your circle and there could be one or two, I'm not saying one or two like you, who have got a friend in this circle who is actually doing freelancing and doing a lot of show offs. That I do this, I live laptop lifestyle and all that. But the point of discussion is a word freelancing, which you have actually got in your mind. It's only because of the internet research, those YouTube videos and everything, which you were actually checking since last few days. And that's where you've landed to this subject called freelancing is a great thing, which you can do work from home. Is it not true? It is absolutely true, my friends. Aditi, Sharad, Karthik, Shivam, Priyanka, Nandini, all everyone, except the fact it is true. No doubt about it. But I will give you some stats and you have to accept them based on your own skills right away. So before I talk about freelancing as a market, I am going to ask you guys a question. There are two ways that you can learn content writing today. There is one institute called IM Skills and this IM Skills offers a course of content writing, which is at 11,900, some taxes, then tools, all such things. All offerings are same as listed at our site. And then there is a guy called vibeofcocker.com. This is me. Everything as similar as I am skills is same. Let's keep it 10,900, 1,000 less for this guy. Okay, and rest every service is same. As a student, where do you think you will prefer going? You will learn from an, uh, a, a, a private tutor or let's say a freelancer, or you will prefer an institute. Let me ask you guys this question in the chat box. If you can just write that, whatever you have in your mindset right now, you can just put that in the chat. Aditi, Amina, Chinju, Kartik, Namrata, Nandita, have a request Priyanka, Priyanka, Madan Kumar, Priyanka, Priya, Sai Shri, Saint Pri, everyone else. Percentage of you have said institute, institute, institute. For Kartik, it is whichever feels more credible. Institute, institute, institute. Okay. What about others? We are still around 10 more people who can answer this. For Amina, again, it's an institute, right? Now, right, have a, you know, pay attention to this. Now, this is what I'm trying to relate. If I have to take a ratio, 95 people, they always go with brands and five, they offer freelance. Remember this. Now, what is a smart move from here? 
will you leave 95 people for these five people or you will prefer leaving five people for 95 i think the opportunity is actually there with 95 students right instead of five everybody do you agree or anyone disagrees to this now let me create what i'm trying to you know show right now see the opportunity for a freelancer is there there are ways you can get freelance.com odex these are sites where there is a structure you will develop your profile let's say you will have 25 different types of skill set in your hand and you will be able to write every different type of content writing and then that means you have a portfolio now ready in the training itself okay so you will learn you will write and then you will go to freelance odex all these sites and set up your own account now the process they, there is that there is a customer who will appear let's say you are registered there as a service provider they are mediator right mediator is this company freelance and then the customer they will come they will post their requirement let's say 1k words and i'll pay 1 rupee per word now such types of people they will come they will post their requirements and one has to bid there one has to bid once you will start bidding there customer will see okay that works his profile works rating is good past views or reviews are good overall but the problem is it's not just you who is bidding there worldwide there are thousands of people who are bidding there and the problem is that once you are going to actually go ahead and develop your freelance account the challenge you are going to face is that at one posting there are 1000 people bidding so don't you think you will waste your time just to get one client every day you will sit every new profile you are bidding change your focus from here i am not saying that you should not freelance i'm just trying to tell you that the way to do it that's it what is that way pay attention to this instead of you focusing at freelance i'm sure in the initial phase you have to to earn money to earn your bread and butter at least get the roi of what you are investing to learn this skill but your final objective should not be freelancing play a bigger game what that bigger game is you must open up an agency only you are the one who is finally doing it there is no change in that but have a long term view with content writing that in next two years i have to take my business in an online space that i am an agency owner which only deals into types of writing services which includes all articles blogs commercial pages social media resume writing all such types of things and your focus should be only to market your own product that is your first one year offer what you must do is that one year just focus at developing your brand all you have to do is that write content at all channels articles and market your own website why because then you will get leads which are only talking to you at this moment you guys are leads to us prospects to us right i hypothetically believe that if you have shown an interest maximum my three organizations you have shown an interest if i am the best you will take me if they are the best you will take them but at least instead of 1000 people versus just three i have to just right now fight with two more in the other case you are fighting with 1000 means 999 different people every day to earn your bread that's a difficult task agency task is actually easy but it will pay you forever why once you are there at search engines or once you are actually available on those words when people search and you are appearing in front of them it's lifelong no one can take it back able to relate my two years long term plan everybody now why i'm saying this let's figure out the opportunity now before i talk about it okay let me first ask are you all able to relate this right now whatever i've created in your mind can i get a quick yes in the chat box cool now let me ask you the next question you guys don't have to write this but uh, just observe i am online right now and we are into an online teaching space we can teach people from anywhere in the world and that is what is the beauty of online is yours is also the same right you can serve people you are in india or you are in us or they are in us and you are in india there is no challenge about it right aditi tushar amina priyanka the point here is that if i have to offer my services not just in india across the globe is it possible it is yes let's figure out i am using one tool right now 
the name of this tool is google keyword planner what does this tool gives you it gives you the number of search volume that what is the market size of the product which you are offering or the services you are offering if there is a search volume that means there is an opportunity to sell correct so let's write resume my writing services pr agency uh, what else article writing services seo article writing what else um okay uh, content writing agency freelance content writers now these are those words which we are actually checking right now that how many people are searching for it freelance content writers here we go this is india market right now let's check india these are just few keywords now look at the beauty of this resume writing services is being searched 1000 to 10000 times pr agency again this much right hypothetically if you take a number it's almost down 35000 per mo- per month search volume now do i need 35000 people to visit me no all i need is five people why these five let's say if i am going to hire a writer it's a recurring business i'm going to give to somebody with me now if i have five people with me and i've hired them for my agency work they have confirmed me in the month of jan 2020 a revenue of 10k per person which is like 50k is a booked revenue now on february 1st 2020 i don't have to sell again i already have 50k booked revenue with me i have to just serve them with me and i have to again add five more clients those who can pay me 50 more which is like by 1st March, my target is to reach at 1 lakh confirmed revenue. And 1st March, I will have 1 lakh confirmed. I don't have to again sell like me. That go live on Thursday at 3 p.m. and teach people about orientation. It's not the case with you guys, right? Now, if your focus is just to actually go ahead and gather clients like this, and once that happens, see the beauty of this model. And this is just Indian market. You check your country, you change your country, let's say, this is India, let's go to US, just for the number, United States. We can target US too, right? Let's check the market for US. Resume writing service within US is around 10K to 1 lakh. PR agency, same. Freelance writers, all these things are less in terms of search volume. And then we have other keywords as well. Freelance writer, resume writing. Look at the number. It's so big there in the US market. Why is that so? Now, guys, you have to also understand that while you are in India, while you are in US, the kind of these writing services, if you check, I want you guys to research about these things. They pay you around, close to around. If you write someone's LinkedIn profile, press, you know, uh, I mean, their cover letter and resume, there are companies charging 25 lakh, sorry, 25,000 rupees as well, just to create that. So it all depends your brand presence. Your brand is an authority. You will be actually going ahead and making the payment around that. Everyone able to relate this? Now, I want that people who are here and expecting to freelance, you must learn content writing. You must do freelancing, but never ever forget you have a long-term vision too. Otherwise, after two years, remember my words. You maximum have a potential to write 30,000 to 50,000 words, depending upon your typing speed. This is what is the maximum word count one can write. Throughout your life, you will never be able to cross income of 30,000 to 50,000 rupees throughout the life. This is how it's going to be. And if you really want to go ahead and earn a great income out of content writing industry, the only way or the only model to scale up is an agency model. Everybody, sounds good making sense and that's the way it works that's the way one can go ahead and do it with me can i get a quick yes or no in the chat box please great uh other than nandita everyone i hope this aligns you very well that how one can go ahead and do it now the next thing from here is that we are going to talk about 
why is that lots of people write content which are like articles blogs why do people write blogs why is that people blogging around food or all such things there are two ways people become one is that uh, or they earn money one is that influencer marketing and the other one is that affiliate marketing have you heard about these terms ever in your life guys have you heard about influencer marketing or affiliate marketing? Great. Now I'm going to put some light on a subject called affiliate marketing, right? What affiliate marketing stands for? A one who can go ahead, create good content. A one who can go ahead, write articles about any topic. We have affiliates available. What are affiliates? Affiliates are those, uh, one company is promoted by a blogger who writes articles, reviews, all such things. And then a call to action is that you can buy, get a discount and they give you URLs, right? When you click at those URLs, the other person buys those things and you get the commission. If you are that affiliate marketer, do you want to understand it with practical experience? Let's go ahead and research. Let me open Google. And by the way, whatever you see at the web is best especially from blogs are mostly affiliated and there is no harm in this. It's a way to earn money and it's the best way to earn money. Now let's say, let's go ahead. Best washing machine. Let's go ahead and check this best washing machine in India. Right. Let me go ahead and search. What is the search volume for best washing machine in India? This is us wait. Let me change it to India. So far, are you guys liking it? Able to understand things very well? Okay. The volume search for best washing machine in India is 22,200 people. That means 22,200 people, they search for it every month, right? We've got this side, this side, this side, this side. Let me open these sites. Amazon is not an affiliate site. So open this and open this as well. Okay, guys, now what happens is that I will go ahead, read the article. This is what I will do if I'm searching for something best, correct? This is those web, these are those websites and they have given us this guy, Gaurav Bhatwaj, select for you. LG, some front load, this buy at Amazon, buy at Amazon. You will see all are saying buy at Amazon, okay? Or I'll say they have given a product specification, check price at Amazon. I'll click there. And I'll see, okay, 23,490, this thing, and including excluding text, this is this price, seems good. I'm good to buy, I'll click add to cart. But you forgot this URL, my friend. This URL is actually an affiliated URL. The moment you will buy, this guy will get good money. So let's say if you have bought this product with the help of this URL, this guy is gonna get, now after this, this question mark, this URL is all affiliated. If I'll remove this and still refresh, the same website will open. But after this question mark, the URL is all affiliated. Similarly, you check this URL. Check sale price. You will click at sale price. After question mark, can you see this? Tag, ignore intro. Oh, I'm sorry, this one, sorry. Tag ECD LAV. The site name is Electronic Conversion Device, which is ECD. And this is what their URL. So if you will buy this washing machine, this guy will earn a commission. Now, not just this, anything and everything at the web is actually affiliated. Let's say you will check for a review. Let's say iPhone review. What happens is that you check reviews, right? Now, if I'll tell you that, okay, after my orientation, write a review about my orientation. Will you be able to do that? Will you be able to go ahead and do that for me? You can, right? It's not so difficult. Now, writing a review is easy. Let's say GSM Marina, everyone have heard about this site. Let me click here. Now, when you check, see, when do we check reviews of anything? When we are interested to buy? Everybody, can I get a quick yes or no about this? If I'm interested to buy, then only I'll check. Now, what I can see is that I have a product, Amazon.in. I'm interested to buy, and I'll see that Amazon is there on the right side. Now, that's called call to action. They're giving the best pricing, and I will realize the cheapest one is Amazon. So, I'll click here. The moment I click there, gsm.com, can you see this? 
So they get commission of this 50,000 rupees product. They have a commission range from 1% to 10% depending upon their product size. So whatever traffic they drive, even if you hypothetically calculate, they are making just $2 per sale. And in a month, they are able to sell to more, more than over 2,000 people. So look at the number. It's 4,000 USD. How much it stands for? A good amount. I think 4 or 5 lakh rupees just from a blog. Similar to that, see, there are a few products which pays you huge. For example, this is M. Balke's blog, which is about WordPress. Now, this particular page, not the entire website, this page receives 3.3 lakh visits every month across the globe. It ranks everywhere. Now, this content, which ranks like this, if I take a hypothetical number of 1% conversion out of 3.3 lakh people visiting this blog, 1% people are buying. This guy is making 3 lakh USD just from one page. Forget the entire site because these sites, they pay you huge. They pay you every sale minimum $100 per sale. From 11 to 20 sale, per sale you get $100. Way back, I'm not sure how many of you have heard about it or not. By the way, I used to run an affiliate channel before I am still, you know, before 2015. My first source of revenue was uh, writing articles about various products educational programs. I run a site called CourseBaker.com. By the way, this is me. And I've been an affiliate to this product company too, which is uh, SiteGround. And you see, there is a process. If you promote them aggressively, uh, you are going to get commission forever. If you will stop promoting them, they will reduce your commission. I'll show you. There are a few articles which we wrote to still get commissions. And it's not just one channel. We have other channels too. We run so many educational uh, sites too, which are all around uh, affiliates. So if you're good in terms of writing, so I'll show you how it works. So if you're at affiliates, you go to your reportings for this channel, let's say this. So there is a money back guarantee with every product nowadays. So once you will cross your money back guarantee time phase, you're going to get the payment in your account. That's how it works. So these are all which are still in the pending part. So they are pending once they will cross this. If I'll check, those which are approved will appear here and I'll get the commission. Where? The commission will be at your PayPal. And the best part is that no GST or such things are required in this case. Though as a writer, if you will open up an agency, you may need that, but here you go. So if you are at PayPal, you have to sign it up and you will get your monthly commissions based on the approval rate with this company for any company, just, just to brief you the process. So let's say I've got my last $70 approved on September 9th, which was like 5,000 got transferred next day. This is from a client, $35 before that. So like that, this entire process works. You will be able to see all the activities under this part. In the past or 90 days. So that's how it works. You know, you got approval. So all the approvals you will be able to check here like this. But uh, okay, so I'm unable to actually go ahead and show you guys the list. But anyway, that's fine. So that's the way it works, you know, the affiliate. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Writing reviews are difficult. Becoming an affiliate is so easy with any organization. Writing a product review, comparison, these are all easy stuff, right? What all it takes to go ahead and do that? All you would need is that you need to go ahead and create a good content, which can really, really help people to decide the better on the search term. That's it. For an example, not just this, we run another channel for educational. We are affiliated with EDX, Udemy, all such courses too. So whatever we provide, we write about this. This is another channel which we run. So let's say all these links which are here, this belongs to us. You write, these are all links which are ads links. We are running ads. So you get $2 per sale when a sale happens and people buy. What's the process? You write article, it takes two months time to rank. Now this is about drop shipping, right? Now, let me show you in the best drop shipping. 
Let's say we will search for this. These are ads, ads, ads. SEO, SEO. Here we go. We are at ranking number three. People click, they buy. That's how it works, right? You write, focus is just create a quality content. And if you're able to, it will rank. And once it will rank, you will earn a commission. Sounds good, guys. And seems like it is possible for everyone that you can go ahead and do this. You can divert people and then they definitely go ahead and make decisions by that. And that's how it works. Now, the next move. So far, things are clear. Everybody, can I get a quick yes in the chat box? Great. Okay, so now why is that iron skills? So now guys, one of the things, it's purely objective driven training at iron skills. Now see, understand we all have various objectives and a public training program anywhere it goes in one flow, but we are not going to take it like this. We give personalization to that based on what exactly you're here to achieve, we are going to design that personalization and also our internship program, which we actually have actually designed we will cover up all content marketing skills too in that. Writing is all we are going to teach you in the training. And the internship helps you to market your product, your services, while you are going to learn. And that's again hands-on. You get lifetime access in this training program, live classes and recording both. You will get trainer support throughout the course. It's not just for a one, you know, one for a week. You will have trainer's phone number, email ID, Zoom call access, and you're good to go. You get... 12 different content writing, you know, modules learning in this training program and 25 different types of writing skills you are going to learn. There is a walkthrough over 150 plus tools and you will see diversified audience from various countries as your peer participants with the batch size of 30. Point. Now, what is this course all about? This course is a four weeks program which happens every Sunday, 10 to two, starting from 22nd November. 16 hours of lectures are there. 60 hours of practical assignments. This is one month duration. You get tools worth 35,000, which includes Elementor Pro, Yellow Pencil Pro, a paid theme of WordPress, which is at a price of 150 US. You get it for free. And you get Got MLS, a technology software that helps you to go ahead and take care of your website from any kind of a hacking or something. We give three months separate internship. This is other than this, okay? Now, this internship is only for those students who will clear our exams. There are two exams which we are going to take. One is with IM Skills and one is with third party HubSpot. HubSpot is a US based for, you know, marketing automation company which offers a certification into content marketing. It's free of cost and you have to appear for these exams. Once you have been cleared, you will be certified from both of us. The product is at a price of 11,900 plus 18% tax, which cost you 14,042 rupees. These are all details of what you're going to learn in this training program about those writing topics, all right? Along with that, content marketing will be completely focused and on-page and off-page. SEO will also be focused. Now, you may also get it. Why would I need SEO knowledge? I'm a writer. You, if we are listed at Nokri, we understand the job requirement in the market. Our course has been validated by the industry leaders, right? And that is what we do. If the course is actually being created with the help of industry players, so we understand what are their requirements and on the basis of that, you're going to learn everything. All right, so this is how it is. When is the next batch starting? It's starting on 22nd of November, 2020, which is next, uh, it's a weekend after Diwali weekend, all right? That's the reason we are not even hosting any class due to Diwali time. So now before I take up your questions, I wanted to tell this, I'll take 15 minutes and I'll give you guys those opportunities Hey, for the last three seats of 22nd batch. All right, 22nd November batch, people who are interested to take it up, we have last three seats left. This link will automatically get expired. Either first three tickets are booked or time is 5.30 PM today, means almost around two hours after this it will be automatically, it will get expired and then we will launch the December batch. This is what from my end, I am all yours. You can go ahead and ask any type of question if you have in mind.